one minute. Final check now of the solid rocket booster commanding. Forty five seconds in county, forty five seconds to launch. Standing by for the handoff. And the handoff has occurred. Ground loss sequencer has handed off to Atlantis' onboard computers. 25 seconds. South impression water system is activated. 15 seconds in count. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7. Main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, one and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the science laboratories of tomorrow. Houston now controlling. Houston Atlantis, roll program. Roger, roll Atlantis. Atlantis' roll maneuver is complete. The uh, orbiter's in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. All systems in good shape. Engines throttling down as Atlantis prepares to maneuver through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower air atmosphere. Already seven miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of five miles. Houston, Atlantis, go at throttle up. Copy, Houston, go at throttle up. One minute, ten seconds into the flight, the three liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, 30 seconds, all hydraulic systems in good shape. The electricity producing fuel cells also in excellent shape as Atlantis heads down range, 18 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 18 miles. The next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters, which are burning propellant at a rate of 11,000 pounds per second. SRB separation is confirmed two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is traveling 3,000 miles per hour, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 46 miles, altitude 35 miles. Ignition of the twin orbital maneuvering system engines on the tail of the orbiter, providing an additional boost toward ascent and heading off toward the International Space Station. Two minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. Atlantis can reach Zaragoza in Spain in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three engines are continuing to perform as expected. Hydraulic systems in excellent shape, as are the fuel cells producing the electricity for the vehicle. Three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is 97 miles downrange at an altitude of 51 miles, traveling 6,000 miles per hour. Views from the external tank uh, camera looking down the vehicle. Very quiet here in Mission Control as the flight control team continues to watch over all systems. Everything uh, continuing to go very smoothly with Atlantis's voyage to the International Space Station. Three minutes, 50 seconds into the flight.
Atlantis, negative return. Roger, negative return. Atlantis can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure, but all three are continuing to perform well, as are the hydraulic systems and the electricity producing fuel cells. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is 175 miles downrange from the launch site at an altitude of 62 miles, now traveling 8,000 miles.